So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demo an example of a, of a, a kind of project you could do uh, using a CAD asset that was built in SketchUp. And in this case, I'm going to use a model that's already uh, created. And, you know, that could be a, a way to differentiate this assignment or to do it differently is uh, not having the students create the models uh, and just having them create the uh, the uh, ArchViz because maybe you just would want to focus on creating a, a polished ArchViz and using this tool. So I did find a model and like I showed in the previous video, uh, it's important to create an account, log in, sketch up.com 3d warehouse a lot of free models uh, and so i downloaded this model and what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring it in and the reason i picked this model is because it shows uh how uh, an arch viz would be done in sketchup and you'll see that it's 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 very basic looking and and so it allow you to see how twin motion can take something basic and really uh, bring it up a couple notches uh, basically making it look almost professional Okay, so uh, I've downloaded the model, and now what I'm going to do is um, I've already imported it, but I'm going to do it again just so you can see how it works. So I'm in SketchUp, which I've opened, and down here is the import button. So I'll just click import. I'm going to go get my file, which is this one that I downloaded from the SketchUp 3D warehouse. And again, I'll repeat this. If you had worked in uh, SketchUp and exported your file as an SKP file, it's important that you have to export it as an SKP file uh, or the export format for uh, or SketchUp to bring it into this. Uh, the other thing that I always do is I try to fix UV and the textures and we're going to collapse this by material. So this will allow us to change the materials uh, in the model. Now you could experiment with different techniques depending on what you want to do uh, and how they were designed but in this case uh, this model, I think, will work well with this. And so we'll do OK. So it'll bring itself in. Some of the materials have the same name. So I'm just going to click uh, bring them in both. So here's our model. And what I would like to do is um, just walk around a little bit of the model and show you uh, what I mean by, like, they brought in trees in a uh, sketch up and as you can see they just look absolutely terrible and if you look at the water it really doesn't look good at all either and uh, furniture is fine let's just click on this so see that's what i when you bring it in by material what happens is see that's one material so i can change that that's another material i can change that that's another material i can change that that well see everything that's white has that material so that one will be a little bit harder to change uh, but what I want to do with this model is I am going to uh, clean it up, okay? So basically, uh, the best way to do that for the cleanup is go to your scene graph. And uh, as you, maybe we haven't done this yet, so let's have a look. So this is what is included when you upload. So this is always part of uh, when you upload something, the, the ground, sometimes you need to do something with that. But for now, we're pretty happy with the way it looks. And what I'm going to do is here is my scene. So one of the things that looks really bad is the trees. OK, so what I want to do is I'll click on one and right down here are the trees. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete those because we're going to bring in nice looking trees uh, using uh, using SketchUp. And while the rocks, I'm going to leave them like that and probably change the materials. Let's see if there's anything else that's really like materials, even though they look amateurish, uh, we can easily change those. Uh, and let's just using the uh, right mouse button and WASD keys to move and the E key for up and down and Q key for moving up. I want to just see if I can go in the si inside of this room. Okay, I can go there. If I go down, oh, you can actually go into this house. So that's really good. So here's a, a really bad looking model. Let's see if I can, uh, you can't delete her. She's, I think, a part of, yeah, it's too bad because there's some nice, we could probably replace her somehow with uh, uh, some of the, uh, in the library, there are some really nice uh, characters. If you look here, user. Library. Oh, that's my user library. I want characters over here. 
So, you know, I can replace her with a human like that. So I'll do that later. So I'm pretty happy with that so far. So uh, let's see if I can click on this one. So I'm just going to save the scene um, while we're at it. It does auto save every 15 minutes. If you remember, we set that up. So I'm going to go save as. I'm going to call it uh, house project. And I'm also going to make sure I save it to my D drive. Again, the same error that often is done by students is they don't take time. And this is something that when you do as a teacher, you definitely want to take time with them because they don't really do that well. And then all the work they do is uh, is lost. I usually go around individually when they're saving, especially at the beginning. Um, so I guess that'll be it for this video. We'll continue in the next where we'll start customizing and improving this. All right. Any questions, please let me know.